told you, Carl. Don't trust the goat. And now be a good child and go upstairs. So no. we, okay. Lucas, you told us to do it. Stop this. 360. We've got 360 for dominance. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. And also, ready, I'm Arias. Have a drink on me. Thank you. They come. Oh, yeah. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, Asgore will kill you. And that is a fucking name and a half, isn't it? Asgore. That is a name. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No, fuck you. Ah. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. But look, I don't want to necessarily stop the goat. I just want to get out before the goat destroys the exit. Yeah, I just want to leave. Okay, so Lucas. There is only one solution to this. We must prove ourselves. Prove we are strong enough to survive. God, no. Can we just flirt with the goat? Is that gonna work? So Lucas, listen to this fucking song. Listen to this song. Mm. This build up. So what we gotta do? Uh, just listen to the music for a second. Yeah, listen to the song first of all. <laughs> Uh, great egg. Talk to him. Try and okay. reason with Tori. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. How about let me out? <laughs> what should we try? Oh god, Luke, she's preparing a magical attack. Um. Oh god. Oh god, Carl, what do we do? What do we do? Um... Check. Jacker, Toriel, attack AC defense knife! <laughs> knows what's best for you. Fuck! Oh, nah, a little slap! Oh. Lucas, she looks right through us. Oh no. Um, reason with the reason. Let's with try and talk to her again. But we can't think of anything to say. We need to think of something to say. Yeah, we're gonna ask having to us. She looks at So here's like. A little detail about this. She will never. She tries not to kill you. Oh, uh, okay. So the thing here is you try and spare her. Okay. So this is. I've seen so many people get stuck here, and as I like to, as I say that, a guy in the chat ruins it. And that's. A, I, I'm gonna get the thing now. I'm gonna start timing people out for spoiling shit. Yeah. Because Lucas has a guide in front of him right now. But you uh, you keep asking to spare her because I've seen so many playthroughs that. Do you know I mentioned earlier they basically got harassed off the internet or into restarting because they don't oh, know yeah, what to yeah. do because they don't realize you can just keep using the same thing. Yeah, so if you just sit still, she uh, won't. Okay. That's the trick. So I was like going into on purpose because if you actually get um, uh, to one health, she'll never kill you. So you can see here, I'm not going to move. And if you actually kill yourself, yeah. she gets really mad. Like, you see, like, her, her reaction is, like, super fucking... She's like, oh, she's horrified that she's killed you. Seriously, Joe, I'm trying to, to make a point, but I don't want to hurt you. And she's like, what are you doing? It's like, look at this battle. And this is so high. I'm just like, what are you doing? Please. Please go. I do not want to hurt you. She don't want to hurt us either. That's the thing. And isn't it such a good build-up that this is how it happens? Mm -hmm. Where it's like the character threatens you to try and make you fight them, but if you watch their animations the way they do it, like they don't actually hurt you. Yeah. It's like if you sit still, like if you try and dodge it, you're more likely to get hit. But do you realise they're not actually trying to hurt you? Like attack or run away. Like, no, I'm good. I've got a different way of doing things than other people do. No, fuck you, spare. What are you proving? I'm proving that I could not get yelled at by the internet. <laughs> um, as well, like, yes. Can you kill her? You can. And that's you the can. thing, I, because um, when you watch, like, playthroughs of it, um, the ones that I've seen, people keep trying to act because they think that's how you beat her. Realise uh, that nothing okay. happens, because I think you can do that, like, basically forever. And they just kill her out of frustration, and that's when people get pissed. And then, like, then people watching, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You've killed her. You've killed her. You can't do a perfect run now. Fight me or leave. I refuse to fight you. 
and right now she refuses to fight back. Yeah. It's great. It's an amazing way to teach you the mechanics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> stop it! It's just stop, please. Stop looking at me. That's the thing we keep saying we don't want to hurt you. It's like, no, fight me though. Look, I'm so serious. <laughs> I'm super serious about killing you. No, yeah, I did also notice, yeah, she, she's not looking properly at us or yeah. anything. She's looking to the side like, I don't want to do this. Yeah. Like she's doing it really casually in a way where like, you know she could kill you, but she's not going to. Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. I'm really tempted to fly into one because the animation is great. You know, it's all they get slower every time. Kill me, child. I don't want to live in this world. Anymore. I don't want to live in a world where I've got to keep watching children get murdered. And there it is. That is a fun way to do it. It is. But please, go upstairs now. And that's the thing as well. So much of this game's fighting, quote unquote, is just talking to the enemies. Mm -hmm. I think that's what inspired it. It's like Toby Fox wanted to make a game where you can talk to it. It's like, well, I wonder what happened if you could talk to the final boss. Could you yeah. talk about it? So I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. We could, like, just making, like, you know, snail pies every day. Fuck yeah. Why are you making this so difficult? Because I'm just, like, so baller. Lala's having none of this. Like, she's not happy, look. She's really not. She's just, um, please. And it tells you can't everything. can't save a single child. You can. You can save us by letting us go. Yeah, because we're super badass. Like, even though we're on 1 HP. Just ignore <laughs> the fact we're on 1 HP. It's such a, a bad character as well. Like, not bad, like bad as in badly written. I mean, like, you feel so bad for this character of, like, all they want is to save one child. And then let's stuff mm -hmm. you learn later in the game. It's like, oh, that's why. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My child, I will put them aside and let you go. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's game like, um, obviously we knew the way to, to do this fight, but the goat doesn't kill you at any point. Yeah. And then also I presume if you start fighting it, it'll give hints to like, say, oh, you know, maybe you shouldn't do that. No, no, Toriel will let you kill her. She will fully let you kill her? Yeah, she'll let you kill her, if that's what you want. Oh, right, okay. That's the thing, she never attacks you. But what I meant is, like, does she not say anything to oh! dissuade you from attacking or anything? Sometimes. It's that thing about some of the enemies, like, throughout the battle, they progress. And that's what's so good about, like, um, there's, like, an enemy later in the game, like, my favourite one, where they realise that you don't want to hurt them halfway through the fight and stop taking it as seriously. But if you try to kill them, and fight them, they then take, start taking it seriously. Evil is so good. There it is. Bye. Leo, what does happen when you kill her? Um, she gets mad. Travels. What was that? Uh, she gets mad. It's just like that's the thing. It's um, I don't think I've ever killed her. Oh, uh, okay. I'm just aware of like the thing you can. Do. You can because there's obviously like the genocide run. Yeah. And it changes some stuff later in the ass thing, like almost everything action you have in this game will have like some kind of consequence. Like for example, it is absolutely impossible to have a perfect run in and if you had kill one enemy in your save, you have to completely uninstall the game and reinstall it. Because the game remembers. Oh wow. Yeah, Bloody so if hell. you want to do it's like whew. Yeah! Evil flower. I'm so fucking smart. The thing is, I've met two characters that can actually properly talk to us so far and both of them couldn't be trusted. <laughs> but one of them was trying to do like, one of them's doing um, the right thing for the wrong reasons, one's doing the wrong thing for the right reasons, I guess. That sort of mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. I feel so good even though I'm on one HP. No, he's like, you didn't kill anybody this time. Oh. Where do you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die. Until so you tire of trying. What will you do then? And there's oh, like the a lot of frustration, and that's what happens to so many people where they realise I didn't have to kill Toriel, and people go back and reset it. And if you reset the game and do it, the game still knows that you killed her. And if you try and do a perfect run, there's like dialogue somewhere in it that says, 
oh, you think you've done well, but I can still see that at one point you did uh, succumb. Okay. And it's like, people feel really bad about it. And it's like, oh, no. <laughs> also, like, this flower wants to control the world. What a legend. I'm the prince of this world's future. That's like such a fucking heavy metal lyric. And then zoom in on that little flower smiling. <laughs> like, that lyric is so good. I am the prince of this world's future. And it's just flowing. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Yeah! Oh, wow. Bye. Mm. Yeah, there's special dialogue for almost every conceivable thing you could do in a game. Not every like, thing you could think of doing, there's special dialogue for it. Bye, Toe. Look at that. That's a man right there, isn't it? He that knows. really reminded me of um, Majora's Mask then, where it's like, um, you know, it'll be like how many hours until the final day? It'll be like three days remain. Do, do, do. It's just the idea as well, because I think this game was entirely created by Toby Fox, except for like three things. There's like three things in the game that were not solely handled by him. Also, I do like this... Um new dynamic background that we've got going on the it's board. Great, it? I don't want to step on the really twig. Cool. I'm scared. I want to not step on the twig. There you go. <gasps> Fuck! I'm running. Ghost is after us, Carl. Run. Sorry, we Just can't. run. If we hide here, we're fine. No, because the ghost can still see us now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two trees. Let's go. It's just a little, like the tone. Oh yeah, the dynamic backgrounds. Oh yeah, I just noticed that. I was so engrossed again. Yeah, we've got the, like the trees. Yeah, the trees are on the border and everything. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, is this who I think it is? It might be the best character in the game. Is that the the mermaid lady? Yeah. No, I can't remember that one. Greet a new pal. I don't remember. I remember you just saying it was one of your favourite songs. Oh, yeah. Undying. No. Oh, I think I know who it is. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. The skeleton! Could just see that little hood. Yeah. On the outline. <laughs> <laughs> so, one of the best things about fucking Sans is just... His text is... Uh, uh. Uh. You're a human, right? I think I am, yeah. That is hilarious, uh, yeah. There is no Brad here, it's just no, it's Lucas. Lucas. I'm Sans. Sans a skeleton. That's kind of implied when you are a skeleton. I'm on watch for humans right now. But I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother Papyrus. And what do you think he talks like? I mean, I don't know, but I'm presuming the font is Papyrus. <laughs> uh, it was a great thing to do. They combine Comic Sans and Papyrus. It's, like it's the most cursed shit you've ever seen. <laughs> I just think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thing. Go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. What a fucking loser. <laughs> that conveniently oh. shaped one, though. It's exactly <laughs> like you. You ready, though? <laughs> oh, Lucas, can you hear it, though? Uh, 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 uh. Listen to that song. This is, this is one of the other songs I've heard, yeah. Sup, bro? Yeah! <laughs> Sup, brother? It's been eight days. You still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. I can only imagine he talks like Skeletor. Like, oh, you... God. Yeah. I'm getting big Skeletor vibes from Papyrus. Like, yeah. You knew the exact noise I was going to do. <laughs> You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? <laughs> Don't stare at this real. Like, he's such big stoner energy right here. <laughs> I do not have time to stare at the lamp. A human might. Looks a human could come through. But While we stare at <laughs> You've no idea how many humans will slip through always staring at this lamp. I want to be ready. It's like that moment in like the room where like to get the characters to go outside, one of the characters says, let's go outside and get some air and everyone just leaves the room. 
Oh, that Homer says, well, wow, look at that dog. Brown. The great papyrus. Look at his pose as well, like an absolute fucking dog. Look at his little cake going it's on. It's great, innit? I will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join. The Royal Guard! Yeah, Dante, let's go. Are, are we allowed to do a fast this run but just kill the pirate? That's the thing as well. It's really mean if you do, because Sans still forgives you at the end. Oh, and you no. kill his brother. I will bathe you in a shower of kisses every morning. We've all been there, mate. Skeletons are already dead, Carl. I like how he's really trying to like help his brother look. Maybe this lamp will help you. It's like, stop talking about this. Oh, lazy but You know that's super racist to skeletons. That's like the skeleton like slur of the century right there. Lucas, read that word to me. Boondoggle. Boon, oh, what a word. I yeah, love like, boondoggle. Such a good word. Like, you get lazier and lazier every day. He's like, well, I found a human, you didn't, so fuck off. And he keeps... A skeleton! A oh, skeleton. Oh. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, we got the rim shot on the zoom in. And there's people like, and um, one of the things, you, I'm presuming you know that like Sans is the secret ultimate final boss. Yeah, because that's the only other thing I've seen in the game is uh, our friend Charlie just went, look how impossible this fight is and out of context just showed us the final, final fight. And it was like, oh my God. Yeah, and uh, that's one of the things there that hints at that, that he can literally change the game world to his own whim. Oh, okay. like, he breaks the fourth wall to talk to us. And that's one right, of those hints yeah. that he can control the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why does someone's greatest man have to do so much just to get some recognition? Like, <laughs> this is just like so, so on point, isn't it? Like, I'm so good. Yeah. Why doesn't anyone recognize it? Down to the bone! Hey! <laughs> I love this character so much. I'm already starting to see why people love Sans. Uh, Papyrus is best, though. You've got to like, like the, um, the sarcastic skeleton. Mm -hmm. Oh, pulling my backbone into it. Uh... It's the, there's the skeleton. <laughs> but I appreciate as well that we don't get any camera pans or the papyrus no. or anything. It's only Sans that is aware of that. He also laughs at his own joke like a legend. That's so okay. Sans. Hang on. So, what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> You have to sit through more of my hilarious. Do you want to hear more of his jokes? Yeah, go for it. Fuck yeah. It's a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Okay. I'm scared of skeletons. You want to get going? He might come back, and if he does, you will have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. So that's him talking about if you die. That's, uh, a, that's a reference right, yeah. there. Yeah. Um, saying you'll have to stick to my joke. He's saying like, if you die, you'll have to respawn and listen to my jokes again. So he's like winking about the fact that like, if you, um, uh, he's aware of the fact that you've got to um, uh, restart. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are only bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Take some fucking mustard then. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. What are these snowballs? Nah. Yeah, I'm wondering about those little rock snowballs. Nope. Oh, that's wrong. What's he want? Can you do me a favour? Yeah, I will do anything for you, Sans. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might make his day. Don't worry, I'm, he's I'm not I'm scared that he's going to try and kidnap or kill us or something. He Even says, he... don't don't worry, he's not dangerous, but I've not learned to trust anyone in this game yet. <laughs> I like that as well. I'll be up ahead, walks backwards. <laughs> yeah, here we go. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. <laughs> yeah, box road. What we got? This is a box. You can put an item inside, I'll take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Thank you. Would you like to use the box? I'm going to put my spider donut inside. Okay. Spider yeah. donut, butterscotch pie. Um, tough glove. What's the tough glove? Can I read? See what it is? It's a tough glove. We can check. Oh, look at the violin fucking coming in. You know, no. Tough glove. Weapon. Attack five. A worn pink leather glove. For five fingered folk. Can we equip the tough glove? Uh, yeah. Can we do that? Info. Uh, you equip the tough glove. Oh, cool. Let's just see Not what we can get. Not that we should need it, but... 
Oh shit, I was trying to like examine it. Item. Use. We'll go check. Info. A toy knife. Attack three made of plastic, a rarity nowadays. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if we can sell items, so I guess we'll just keep these on us for now. Yeah. Might Stick. Well. Zero attack. It's bark is worse than its bite. Fuck yes. So left or right? I'll uh, we'll put off. <gasps> Fuck! Yeah! Oh. The snow drake flutters forth. Dun, 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 dun. Turkey with a snowflake on its head. What do you want to do? Do you want to heckle him? Do you want to laugh at him? Or do you want to joke with him? Try another joke. Why not? Let's give it. You make a bad ice pun. I think so. Ice puns are so funny. <gasps> Look at it. He needs to chill, doesn't he? <laughs> well, we can't mercy it just yet, okay. Should we heckle him? He's joking shit. Should we heckle, yeah. Let's heckle it. They are funny. Your flesh is rotten as you. Snowdrake's not a fan, is he? Snowdrake's getting like. He's getting flustered. He's assessing the crowd. Maybe we should laugh at him. I get the feeling he wants us to laugh at his jokes. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. You laugh at Snowdrake before he says anything funny. What are you? Oh no, he's just mad. He's just salty. He's just salty that no one finds him funny. Oh, that Look was... at it, seething at you. Oh, Luke, it smells like it a wet smells pillow. Smells like a wet pillow. Oh, that's God, a fucking, no. that's a awful. I'm gonna keep laughing at him. Fuck you. Just keep laughing at how small he is. <laughs> he's getting so mad. Oh, yeah. Dodge, dodging these like ninja stars. Let me check him. This is a teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. I've been there. I'm gonna hide in this corner here, look. I'm safe. Perfect. So I guess, like, tell him some jokes. Let's teach him some yeah, good jokes. Yeah, try, try and have a little conversation of jokes. You make oh, a bad ice ball. I've heard that one. I'm pretty sure if you made a ice, you've probably heard all of them. I mean, uh, fair, is it the one that we told earlier? Do we only have one ice pawn? Might do. Tell me another one. You make a bad ice pawn. Oh no, we're getting the same answer here. So that's like the thing of like, he getting the same answer. So which is one we've not used multiple times? Heckle, isn't it? Let's give him a heckle. No, oh, Lucas. Oh my god. That's man. the heckle and a half, ain't it? That's not a heckle, that's just a dunk. Oh, they run away! <laughs> 12 gold. We give so much shit, he's like, I can't deal. Oh my god, the sweet